Hey everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and HockeyShot.com and in this video I want to talk a little bit about a few ways that you can improve your shot power from home. Now historically anytime you're talking about improving shot power usually what the, the coach will always recommend is you know go get yourself a, a cut off hockey stick, put a shoelace or a skate lace, attach a weight to the bottom and do your uh, you know your roll ups and then roll back down. Um, that's great, that's going to definitely increase your wrist and forearm strength but you know obviously there's a lot more that goes into shot power than just strengthening your forearms. Now especially with today's you know day and age there's a lot of really good equipment that will actually help you to improve your shot power from home as well. So I want to talk a little bit about that and kind of get, just give you a general overview on uh, you know some of the things you can do to be able to improve your shot power. So first and foremost um, there's two elements that go into a powerful shot. There's the technique you know making sure you've got the proper you know weight transfer, uh, torque, stick flex, all that good stuff and we actually did a video a while back on you know the three main shot types that's your wrist shot, snap shot, and slap shot so we'll put a link to the description for that video so you can check that out Go check that out, make sure your technique is looking good, and then once your technique's nailed down, then all it is is a question of improving the strength, improving that, you know, it kind of just nailing down the key muscles that go into, you know, having a strong shot. So that's kind of where we're going to jump in on this video, is talking about, you know, how to actually work those, uh, those elements of shot power. So let's go ahead, we'll cut, and I'll show you, I want to show you a few of the, the key tools that uh, I recommend having if you're going to work on your shot power from home. Okay, so there are four main tools you're going to want to pick up um, if you're really going to want to dive down into, uh, you know, really working on your shot power and be able to track your progress. So first and foremost is uh, we're talking radar gun here. This is a, a basic version. It's available at HockeyShot.com, um, but this is easily good enough to do the trick. I've used this quite a bit, um, both on my own and in camps as well, and um, it's a consistent readout. So, um, you know, you'll definitely be able to track your progress, and uh, so this is called the Speed Track Radar Gun, and and uh, fairly inexpensive, you know, definitely uh, within, within budget of, you know, being able to pick this up and a great way to be able to track, you know, whether your shot really is getting harder and faster or not. So, uh, with a way to track it, now we can move on to some of the actual training tools. Some of these you'll, you definitely will have seen before. Uh, weighted pucks, I, in my opinion, I'm a little bit old school with this, but it's a great way. Um, you know, obviously, you're, you're working on your shot. All the same muscle groups and everything is, it's, you know, it's, it's a shot. So, it's not like you're trying to mimic the shot. It's, you're actually taking shots with weighted pucks. I mean, it's the same concept of, uh, you know, weightlifting. It's, uh, you know, increase your, your weight load and learn to work with that. And then when you go over to, uh, you know, your standard black pucks, then it feels like kind of like you're shooting a feather. So the one caution on this is obviously your aim will be a little different as you move from heavier puck to lighter puck. But in my opinion, you know, especially when we're talking shot power, that's nominal and it's a quick adjustment um, once you move back to the regular, regular pucks. So I love it. Um, you know, increase that weight load. There are other ways of doing this as well. And uh, some of these make more sense if you're talking like a practice setting. Uh, Hockey Shot has just come out with the uh, Hockey Shot stick weight and this is actually a really nice little little training aid and um, all it is it's it's basic but it's uh, I think it's a clever design so you can see you've got the velcro on the one side on the other side you've got the other piece of velcro and then what they've done is there's two these are it's kind of hard to tell but these are um, little foam rubber pieces and so what that does is you wrap it around your stick obviously and the foam rubber keeps the the weight from sliding up and down on the shaft of your stick. So this is what it looks like when it's actually wrapped on and I've been messing around with this a little bit. It works really well. So when you would use a stick weight is obviously if you're shooting on a real goalie like in a practice setting where you're shooting regular pucks you don't want to be shooting weighted pucks at a goalie it's just not fair not right um, but uh, you know it's it's okay to shoot the regular pucks and just add the weight to the end of your stick instead of shooting the weighted pucks. So same concept as working with the weighted pucks but uh, in this case you're able to work with a live goalie if the situation uh, if if that's the situation you're you're in so definitely a great little stick weight I recommend that for sure and then this last device you may have seen this before but this is great and I'll show you kind of what all of these look like in action uh, but this is called a shot tech and basically what it is it's a resistance training device so this isn't you're not going to go in here and work on slap shots with this machine but what you're going to work on is snapshots and wrist shots and what this does is it's a resistance I'll show you a little bit we'll, we'll show this in action but I'll show you kind of what it looks like. As you can see there's this not uh, this dial here and the easier numbers are lighter resistance and the heavier numbers are heavy resistance. So as you progress you work up towards the uh, more heavy resistance. So what it is though, the puck's on the track and as you shoot the puck goes up and then snaps back. 
Okay? And I'll show you some of the stuff you can do with this, but um, it allows you to work on stuff that is, uh, you know, a little different in a different way. And I'm convinced it's a pretty effective way of improving shot strength. So let's go ahead. I want to show you again what some of these look like in action, and then we can go from there. Okay, so for the first part, as you can see, we're using the Hockey Shot stick weight, and I've just got it strapped onto the stick here. We're going to be using regular black pucks for this, and then, uh, as you can see, I've got the Shooter Tutor taken out of the net, so we're just going straight on a regular net because I've got the uh, radar gun set up straight behind the net. So whenever you're doing your shot power, if you've got a radar gun you're using, you're going to want that to track your shot power. So set it up right behind the net, make sure you give enough space so the puck's not going to hit the mesh, and then follow through to hit the radar gun, and that's it. So... This is kind of what this will look like from here. Um, I'm just going to kind of go, you know, wrist shots, snap shots, and, uh, and you can kind of see what this looks like in action. We're not going to spend a ton of time on this, though. Okay, so as you can see, with the stick weight, still able, still able to shoot the uh, regular black pucks and keep track of your, uh, of your shot. So, so far, I think my highest one's been 50. Let's keep working on this. Fifty-two. One of the things I recommend is shooting straight at the uh, at the radar gun. In fact, that's what the instructions of the radar gun recommend as well. So just make sure you're shooting straight at it. And that's what that looks like. Okay, now we've got the orange pucks. These are the weighted pucks, uh, heavier than a regular puck, and it's the same concept, just shooting a heavier, heavier uh, workload, which improves your muscle strength. So that's what that looks like. Again, same concept. Okay, and last but not least, we've got the Shot Tech, and uh, as you can see, it's an electronic device. So there are different programmings. I'm not going to get into it on this video, but there's different, uh, you know, different modes and things you can do. It'll track how many repetitions you get in a certain amount of time, um, all that kind of stuff. So we'll do that. We'll save that for a different video. But uh, we've got it set up, and I'm going to put the camera up on the tripod and show you kind of what this looks like in action, what a few of the different drills you might be able to use with the Shot Tech. Okay, so in today's game, you're getting less and less time to mess around with the shot, you know, pull it back, get your wind up, and then let a really good hard shot go. Um, that's why you're seeing so much more snapshot and wrist shot, you know, especially at the pro levels, NHL, stuff like that. Uh, the reason is because there's less time, so there's less time for a wind up, and you got to get that shot off a lot quicker. Even with your standard wrist shot, there's not as much time to pull it back, set up, and let it go. It's a lot more quick, just quick release. Now, with the quick release, Obviously, there's a lot more forearm and wrist strength that goes into that, and core strength as well. Now, that's where a device like the Shot Tech comes in really handy, uh, because you're actually able to just isolate and focus on those shooting muscles. So again, this isn't the idea isn't to you know just to really get a real shot off, but it's to work on those muscles. So it's a repetition type thing. Um, so for a standard shot, you just be looking like this. Okay, snap that hard. Okay, now here's the cool part about this, and this is where you can get start getting really creative with a device like the Shot Tech. So in a game, you're not just always just going to be like this, you know, being able to shoot like this. You're going to have your feet are going to be in different positions. You're, you know, you're going to be, you know, sometimes your body's going to be torqued, and you're going to be, you know, driving a rebound while you're being hit, stuff like that. And that's where this can come in handy. So, um, you know, another cool way is actually turn your feet facing the opposite way, and then still working on that, and you'll be able to feel it a lot. You'll be able to feel a lot in your core, uh, and then again, a lot in the wrist and forearms. Uh, same thing, you can point your feet the other way. So this is maybe, you know, you're skating past the front of the net, rebound comes out slightly behind you, and now you're needing to get a shot on net. Okay. Now, um, where this gets really cool, actually, let me show you one more thing first. Uh, how about, you know, from one knee? You know, maybe you got checked or, you know, you fell down in front. Um, even if this isn't the exact situation that happens on the ice, going down to a knee eliminates some of the ability to use your lower body, and that isolates more core again, and then, uh, you know, able to isolate those, those wrist and forearm muscles. So it looks like that. 
And this goes without saying, you can do all the same stuff on the backhand that I'm doing on the forehand. We won't go into all that. What I wanna show you is where it starts getting really cool is when you start adding additional training aids. So you can pick up like a stability ball. I think some people call it Swiss ball, right? And now, you know, you're sitting on the Swiss ball and you gotta, you know, again, lock in that core. Just adds a different element of coordination to the whole thing. Or another cool device you can use, um, you may have seen this before, is the BOSU ball. So there's lots of different ways you can use the BOSU ball, but here's one I've been liking, is uh, flip it upside down, then you're standing on the platform of the BOSU ball, get a nice low knee bend, and uh, again, this, you know, having this, uh, this rickety surface adds an element of balance, coordination. And uh, it's a lot of fun to work on it. So, Hopefully you can see how this could be very useful in terms of um, you know, improving wrist strength, forearm strength, core strength, and training some different positions that you may be shooting, might be shooting from in games that uh, you know, in your general shooting practice maybe you don't think of or don't come up with. So uh, definitely a great one. Shot Tech, as you can see, I'm out of breath. It's a, and not only is it a, a good way to work on your shot, but it's a good workout as well, especially when you start adding some of these other training elements as well to, the, you know, to your mix. So those are a few ways you can work on your shot power from home during the off season or even during the regular season. Uh, remember though, start with your technique. Make sure your technique's nailed down and then after you've got a good handle on how the exercise or how the shot should be performed, then start adding in some of these strength exercises and uh, really boost up that strength, get that shot power and track your progress over the summer. Um, you can pick up all this equipment at hockeyshot.com and also make sure you visit us at weisstechhockey.com for more drills, skills. We've got a lot of product review videos, lots of good stuff that'll help you to improve your game.